Well, hello, everybody. My name is Sarah, Pearls of Wisdom and Food, with Keto Under 20. And yes, somebody got their partial wish. If they wish that I'd shut up, I have I have a little bit of laryngitis today. It's it's funny, isn't it? I sound like an old barroom smoker broad, which I would have turned into had I not quit drinking <laughs> a number of years ago. Anyway, so... You've probably heard the saying, if nothing changes, nothing changes. Are you at a place in your keto journey where you're just almost getting pouty and temper tantrum and stamping your feet because things aren't going your way? Oh, well, you know that keto is, is mostly a scientific food plan. And so you need to give things a chance. You need to give other things a rest and you need to stop thinking you can have this thing or that thing that is not recommended for keto. You're not that special. <laughs> you're not. And if you're older, you're definitely not that special. You probably have a lot of internal healing to do. And if you're like I am in your <laughs> mid to late 60s and you're just starting keto, think of the years that you just trashed your insides with stupid, dumb foods. I'm talking like Weight Watcher approved type dumb foods. Sorry to knock Weight Watchers, but they aren't about your health. They're about garbage foods that are modified. And you think, you know, you, you will lose weight for a time. How about that Slim Fast? What, I mean, not Slim Fast, um, South Beach. Has anybody gone on South Beach? Have they changed it up to meet to meet what works for people. Um, I never went on it. I know a couple of people that did had some success, but then, you know, they drift away. Why? Because those things don't come with um, eating habits that are changed for life, right? That's the beauty of keto is that the further in you get practicing strict and disciplined and structured keto, the more your cravings will go away, the more the trigger foods will have a pull on you, the better your health will be, the more that you will say, wow, what a difference this makes, the more side benefits you will get. Sure, if you join a weight program, a weight loss program, and you lose the weight and compliments are coming your way and you drop down a couple of sizes, well, sure, that's fun. But what happens when it stops? What happens when, you know, somebody says, I'm not spending all that money on that food or those meetings or to buy this kind of stuff. I'm getting headaches again. I'm feeling bloated again. I'm cranky again. Oh, well, maybe those things aren't working for you right now. And maybe you need to come back into the keto community fold. And the thing about keto is that it's a grown-up food plan. It's for people that want to get healthy from the inside out. It's for people that, sure, never thought they would ever lose weight again, and sure, they might lose some weight here. But it's the it's all those benefits that you start getting. And, and once you've been in it for a number of months, and give it a chance, give your body a chance, especially if you're in your 60s, or maybe maybe fifties and forties if you if you did a lot of abuse, a lot. <laughs> um, give it a chance, and it's not like you're depriving yourself of things with carbs in them. You know, processed foods. It's not like this is here to punish you. This is here to teach you that adding butter to your broccoli for the first time in your life is gonna be delicious. Number one. Number two. It helps you absorb the nutrients of the vegetable. So those green beans and that broccoli and what else do I have? So, um, spinach, those sort of things that I have um, sauté, chard. Love organic Swiss chard at the bottom of my individual quiche. Mm -hmm. So those sort of things. And then having the oils on your green leafies and not, not commercial grade salad dressings that are yucky and nobody can have Mark Sisson's um, <laughs> bottles of dressing that are 10 bucks a pop that long. 
Um, I'd be cutting it with olive oil if I did get it, but I'm just happy with olive oil and macadamia nut oil. Have you tried macadamia nut oil? It gives a whole different flavor. And I'm telling you, sauteing my seven grams of almonds with a little, a little pat of pasture-raised butter, which could be Kerrygold, it could be Organic Valley, it could be um, Vital Pastures. If it's organic pasture-raised, it's good for you. The other ones are commercial brand butters, and they might not be that good for you. So, you know, it's just little upgrades that we do. But sautéing those almonds in the butter and then putting them either on my salad or on my good culture yogurt. Oh, oh, wonderful. And it makes for such a power-packed, satiating meal. When I have my big A salad and I have my yogurt, excuse me, my cottage cheese next to it with the almonds, with that little, little taste of butter, oh, my delish satisfying meatless if you have a meatless day every now and then i tend to like meat but then i tend to um have a couple of days without meat each week because i tend to like meat if you're following me so when you enter into keto if if you're lucky you will decide early on that this is going to be a way of eating for you. This is going to be a way of life for you. This is the real deal. This isn't until. This isn't for. It, 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 is, it is for your health. You will lose weight, most likely, because you're changing your metabolism. I've got a new set point. I seem to weigh in that two-pound range. I consider myself on maintenance. I weigh between 121 and 123. This past uh, couple of days ago at my Thursday morning weigh-in, I do once a week, so I, there's no scale obsession, I weighed 121.4. The last time I weighed 121.4 before keto, I was in the third grade. So, <laughs> yeah, eight years old. I am now on my way to 68. So that was six decades ago. So miracle things can happen to old floppy bodies. I'm talking about mine, not yours. I'm talking about mine. Old flabby bodies can get lean. It can be done. It's amazing. You will feel so good. And if you listen, if you read um, what other people comment on here on the site, you will learn tips and tricks and, and things that like I never knew existed. I just ordered some sea kelp. Um, I listened to Dr. Berg live yesterday and somebody um, somebody was having an issue with <laughs> something that I sometimes have an issue with. I can't even remember, but definitely to help your thyroid. And he suggested sea kelp. And I realized, well, why not? Why not try a few months of it and see if I feel different? Diatomaceous earth I heard about here from Sally Forth. I've been doing that for six months. It's for hair, nails, skin, and the real pull for me is the osteoporosis. I can begin to rebuild my bones, and that's something that they never want you to think could happen. So they want to slap on you some chemical prescription that scares the bejesus out of me. No, thank you. Um, you know, so a good day for a lot of us older people here on the keto food plan is a day when we can lower our meds, get rid of the meds, not have to go near the meds, and just feel all out terrific. Have that energy, have that bounce, have that mood be like this. When you think of some of the things that you used to dramatize, oh, come on, you know you did, that were like really off the charts, what did my friend get all upset about at Christmas time? Oh, the gaskets in her washer. And I and I said to you people here, she's not watching this channel, trust me. She loves blueberry muffins, pancakes, chocolate, crap, <laughs> mac and cheese. Um, <coughs> five years ago, her kids wanted nothing to do with her. Her two kids, each one of them emailed her, don't contact me again, right? So there go, there go not only the child, but the grandchildren, right? And so this year, she's scanning. 
She's scanning for something to be fretful about. <laughs> it's the gasket in her washing machine. I had to point it out to her. I know you're surprised. Smackdowns. I don't discriminate with my smackdowns. So if you're if you're at a place of frustration with your keto or you're not doing it quite correctly, if nothing changes, nothing changes. Now we could upgrade that to insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and thinking it will turn out different. Remember, you're not going to out exercise your, your weight problem. You're not. Keto is probably 80 or 90% of your food. If you change your whole gut biome by going keto, the results will come in. It might take a while. You know, when, when like doctors are on and they say it's going to take a while, it's like, how much, how much, how much? We don't know how much. Each body is different. That's why I call you snowflakes. That's why I am a snowflake. Because it's like, I thought I felt as good as I could ever feel six months ago when I was on keto. And now it's like six months later and I'm, I'm feeling even better. So the benefits never really stop if you're practicing a disciplined keto. There's no days off. There's no cheat meals. There's no diet soda. Is there? There's no artificial sweeteners. Is there? Oh, you just look for that aspartame one. That's coming. So you just want to take care of yourself in a keto fashion. There are so many 90 day wonders out there that are putting up podcasts. And when you see their artificial foods and their artificial sweeteners still in their grocery halls and they're calling it all keto, I don't think that's how it was intended. If it might work for them, that's great. They're probably 28 years old. So trust the old body likes real food. It likes no grains, no sugars of any kind, no artificial sweeteners, no diet soda and no fruit. So if you're watching somebody that's buying processed foods that somehow fit into what their keto idea is, or they're buying like fruits that they're having every day, or they're, they're buying, um, be careful of protein powders and all those smoothie powders. They might have CRAP in them. Well, they probably have CRAP in them. Let's face it. Um, if they don't have CRAP in them, they're $75 a jug, right? And then you can still buy the ones with CRAP at $75 a jug. Have some real food. Get some good fa yi full fat yogurt. Get some good culture, full fat cottage cheese. It's fermented. So it's not unlike yogurt. It's good for you. Saute some almonds with butter. Put it on the top of your salad. Put it on the top of your, of your cottage cheese. Put it on the top of chicken. Saute some chicken thighs, not breasts. Stay away from chicken breasts. Chicken breasts are like non-existent food. Uh, when I see some chicken breasts in the meat, you know, section and they're this big, that's scary. That's modern science. You don't want those. You want like organic chicken thighs if you have to have them. And if you cook them with the bone and the skin on them, bonus ball to you, right? So take care of yourselves. It's a day at a time. It's not overnight. Put that freaking scale away. I I can't afford you anymore. I'm, I'm buying airline tickets and doing smackdowns face to face because of the scale. Ugh, I can't keep flying to your houses, people. <laughs> Put those scales away. They aren't your friend. And if you think they are and you're in your late 60s like me, you never got the memo. They aren't your friends. Put on your favorite jeans, your favorite trousers, something. But trust, if you're getting eight hours of sleep and you never thought you'd sleep again, especially post-menopause, if, if your mood is level, if you like people that you didn't like before, or you can just ignore them and not have to like eat at them when you get home, that's progress. That's good. Keto works in so many different ways. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Sarah Pearls of Wisdom and Food with Keto, well under 20 today. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and check out my other videos. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye for now.